Is that like the, the marker now for makeup? Would hair get stuck? With a breeze, yes. Who is she? Filming a makeup video in a room with a backdrop with lights. It's been 84 years. Hi, guys. I am here today to put on makeup. Me, of all people, a beauty channel. Who would have thought that I would do anything that wasn't related to pregnancy and babies? Well, not me. But today, I am yearning to put some makeup on this face. Now there is some makeup on my face already because foundation is not a part of this because frankly, I don't have the time for a full face of first impressions, but I do have the time for some first impressions. I went through a bunch of new PR that I've recently gotten and I just have a bunch of stuff that I wanna try and this is not gonna be some revolutionary crazy full face of makeup, okay? I am wearing full coverage foundation because my chin has broken out and my picking has gotten very bad. Now I have a skin picking issue where I literally, I literally can't stop. And same with my fingers, they're just absolutely shredded. So I just don't really wanna talk about it. I don't really wanna talk about it, but I literally am talking about it to the internet. And none of you told me that I had to say it, but I'm still talking about it. So I'm gonna stop talking about it. Some things that I wanna try that I can't believe I haven't tried yet. And all of this stuff is already like in the makeup world considered old news. Now that's very irritating. That's one thing that I really hate about the makeup industry is that so much new makeup gets pumped out so often that when it is something that's like a month old, people are like, that's like boomer status. Like we don't care and I care. I hate that because that's dumb. It's dumb that something that came out last week is already considered old news, but it's not old. It's still brand new in the scheme of the world and it's stuff that I wanted to try. So you guys may already know your review of all this. You might already know everything. And I have hardly watched any reviews because I have been taking care of a little tiny human for the last few months and I don't get much time to go on YouTube. I've got some stuff from Auric which is Samantha Ravindahl's brand, and we are personal friends. So, will it be biased? Most likely, I will just tell you that right now. I'm going to try it out, see how I like it, see how it applies on me, and just go through the whole thing. Um, talk, show you guys packaging. You've already seen it. You've already watched your reviews, but I don't care. <laughs> I also have some stuff from Jaclyn Cosmetics that came, the bronzer blush duos. I'm, I'm really excited to give those a try. I have no idea. I, again, I have not watched a single review on makeup. Like I just literally don't know what the consensus was on any of this at all. Since I'm using Glowless, I don't think I'm gonna use Jaclyn's highlighters, but I can just tell you formula-wise, they're the same uh, as the kit and the kit, which was the um, flash palette that was my favorite, literally amazing. Not was, it's one of my favorite highlighters. So if you didn't get a chance to pick up those, I don't even know if these are available anymore, but I'm not gonna try the highlighters cause I literally already have, and they are very good. I have some other stuff sitting here as well. So let's just go. I don't need to tell you everything. You're gonna literally see this in a second. Before we get into the video, I would like to thank today's sponsor, which is HelloFresh. I've been working with them for the last three years now. If you don't know who HelloFresh is, I'm, I'm surprised because you do. But if you don't, they are a meal delivery service and they deliver meals directly to your door each week and you can choose the meals. They come in a big box and in that box, which is insulated, it's got the meals that you've pre-chosen. So there are three meals in there and they're each individually bagged and in each bag is with all the ingredients that you need to cook the meal. It also comes with the recipe cards for each meal and on the back of the recipe cards are six steps so you can follow. It's really, really easy. The meals are fresh and delicious and they're really balanced. So you also have the option of choosing between low calorie, carb smart, vegetarian, or pescatarian options. Everything is pre-portioned out for you. You don't have to consider meal planning or prepping. It just cuts out all of that for you. So you can just get dinner on the table in about 30 minutes, and they even have 20 minute ones with their quick and easy options. The packaging that HelloFresh uses to ship your food in is made almost entirely from recyclable or already recycled content. You can add extra dinners if you want, or lunches to your weekly order. You can throw in extra proteins, or you can add things like garlic bread, etc. HelloFresh donated over four million and meals to charity in 2020 alone, and they are stepping up their food donations with coronavirus going on. This week was Ancho Chili Sloppy Joes. I've never done one of their like burger, sandwich, sloppy joe type things before. I always do like pastas and things like that. It was really, really, really good. Sloppy joe, sloppy, sloppy joe. Sabe Joe, sabe, sabe Joe. Let me try some of the Joe by itself. <laughs> this is so good. This one is delightful. 
I feel like I always get pasta. This is the first time I've ever done one of their sandwiches before and I'm mad that it's taken me this long. I talked about this before, but for us, it's been so nice using HelloFresh because you have your meals picked. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to go grocery shopping. You don't have to consider what you're gonna eat that meal. I am not at a point in my life where I have extra brain space to care about any of that, specifically meals. It's just something that I wanna have something good. It, that's it, just whip it out of the fridge and get going instead of having to be like, well, what are we gonna have? I don't wanna talk about it. I just wanna have it. If you guys are interested in checking out HelloFresh, go to hellofresh.com and enter the code RAWBEAUTY12 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping. And I thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring this portion of the video, for continuing to work with me and for making my life easier. And uh, let's just jump into the rest of the video and try out some makeup. So I'm gonna do my eyes first because, okay, these have to stop. They look so gross. So I'm gonna actually use these from Auric and look at the packaging. I'm sure you guys have already seen it. This is, this has been circulating the internet. I feel like such a shit bag. Like I literally was so in the middle of taking care of everything else that I just, I didn't have a chance to put this video out when these were brand new and I just, I'm sorry. But these are the Auric Cosmetics Smoke Reflect and the packaging could not be more beautiful. It is such a reflection of Samantha's awesome ability to make luxury makeup. It's so, so, so stunning. So this is the packaging. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so this is the color Defiance. And look at this packaging right here. So on the bottom, you have the cream. Ooh, look. There is a cream eyeshadow on the bottom. And then on the top, you have your powder, which flips this lid open. This is really cool, Sam. Oh, okay. Yeah, see what I'm talking about with my finger picking? I really don't wanna talk about it. Okay, but I still am. That is um, absolutely stunning, holy shit. Okay, so let's look at the other colors. The box was upside down and so it like stuck to the lid. But this is temper, that's really pretty. It's like a mauve-y sort of color. That's the top. Oof, she pretty. This one is Ego. Okay, and this one sort of, this one is like a true silvery gray color. Let's see if this top one is silver. Oh yeah, it's sort of like a greenish, greenish silver. I can't believe I haven't opened these yet. God, what's wrong with me? I think the one that I'm vibing with the most is Defiance, so that's what I'm gonna use today. I think that she says to put the cream on with a brush, if I do remember correctly. I am gonna try my finger on the first side. Oh, okay, it literally feels Okay, the consistency, now this is gonna be a really weird explanation, but just hold with me. The consistency of this feels like you're rubbing your finger on the inside of a Lindor truffle. This is exactly the kind of makeup I need these days is a really quick application of something that I can just throw on because I just simply do not have time right now to be like fussing with my makeup. I haven't worn any eyeshadow hardly at all since he's been born because it's been so difficult for me to like do any sort of eye look and I'm and, and like, what's the point? You know what I mean? Most days I'm like, well, what's the point? But if I can just pat something on really quick like this and be done, okay, it's drying down really nicely. It feels like it's already dry. Let's see, mostly, yeah, but not like too fast. It gives you enough working time, I feel. This probably isn't the type of brush that she says to apply with, but this is the Smith 235. I think it applies nice with both brush and finger. I don't know that I have much of a preference. Preference of ease, maybe finger. See, that could just be done in and of itself. Like you could just be done with it right at that moment. You don't have to go in with any more. Like if you just need a quick color on the lids, that could be it. But I am gonna toss on this, which is at the top. That is so pretty. So this is what it looks like on the finger. That's over top of that color. Oh, wow. It is so much more sparkly than I was imagining. Wow, it's, it's like, not at all what I, what I was picturing at all. It's so much more, so much more sparkly in the best way. Let me take a little bit of the, the bottom like uh, cream shadow and I'm just gonna run it on my lower lid or lower lash line, whatever it's called. I've never used a cream down here before, but it doesn't feel at all like, I don't even know how to explain it. It doesn't feel a cream that you don't have control over. It's almost not, like as wet as I've tried other creams before, but like in a good way. It doesn't feel like overly wet or anything at all. Try with my finger. Oh my God, it's so smooth. It's like a whipped texture. 
if, if there was something I was like ha struggling with big time, I would definitely let you guys know. I don't feel like I'm struggling at all. I feel like it's exactly as advertised. Like you're, you've got your cream shadow on the bottom, which is really nice. It's got like a really moussey whipped texture. It feels very smooth. That's what it looks like on its own. It's exactly what I love. We know I love a good topper. I need a little bit of liner. I wish I had Woodsy from my collab with ColourPop sitting in front of me, which literally, I have to talk to you guys. Like I literally did not get a chance to film. I was so pregnant when that launched that the my little baby came right after that launched and I didn't even get a chance to put up hardly any content surrounding my collab with ColourPop. And like that was the dream of my life. And so for it to like kind of fly under the radar like that because I didn't have a chance to like work with it as much as I could, oh, that, that really crushed me. Oh, this is not at all the color I thought. We have to roll with it because I already started. This is Mr. Bing. I'm just gonna curl my lashes and throw on my mascara. I can't believe how many people commented under that video. I did a video recently, I'll put it up here. I put it up this week. Two videos in one week. I, I don't even, don't get used to this. <laughs> I curled my eyelashes when I'm having a conversation in there and the amount of people that commented being like, the length of time in which you are curling your lashes is staggering. I have to leave this thing on for like 30 seconds. Otherwise they literally don't curl. My eyelashes don't fall off though. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Waterproof Mascara. I asked back in the day, why do my lashes never stay up. Why, when I put mascara on, do they immediately fall down? And people told me, use waterproof mascara. And you guys, if it didn't change the game for me, it changed everything. It is the only thing that will keep my lashes exactly where I put them. Once they dry, they do not move. Yeah, waterproof is a bitch to get off, but it stays on. It freaking stays on, and that's all I could ask for. Honestly, I don't feel like I need lashes. I can't, who am I? I don't know. But look at this mascara. You see what I'm talking about? I've seen like the viral TikTok mascara. Dude, I'm obsessed with TikTok. I literally. Pfft. See what I mean? My lashes just stay up. There's something about the waterproof formula. For some reason, I always thought of waterproof as like, oh, it's so bad because it's so hard to get off. But like, I just simply don't care of the fact that my lashes look exactly the same 12 hours after applying it that they did 30 seconds after applying it. That means so much to me to have them not fall down, doesn't flake all over my face. It's just like the best. I feel like those are absolutely beautiful and that's something that I would wear on the everyday. I probably wouldn't do this, the sparkly topper part on the every single day because for me, I am more of like just these days, I'm a, I'm a lot less of like a sparkly eyeshadow person right now. And I'm, I'm just trying to get things done in the quickest way possible. But this was really, really fast. If I could just dip my finger, pat it on and have like a really pretty eye look done right away. These I could see adding to my like daily collection and the packaging could not be more beautiful. The raised lettering here at the top, it's just, Sam really killed it with this. I mean, and I know it must not have been easy. Okay, so I'm gonna come back to Auric in a second, but I am going to switch over to Jaclyn Cosmetics now. And if you guys did not know, Jaclyn launched highlighters, which I have the PR. I'm, I'm still on the PR. I would not have thought. I wouldn't have kept my dumb ass on that PR. I would have kicked my ass off after the microscope. Oh, these are hefty. These are hefty. Okay, so this is the product right here and it says Jaclyn and then you've got this raised J right here. And then when you open it up, oh wow, they are beautiful. This is very luxury packaging. It looks very Sephora to me. It's not, it's nice. It's very bulky, but I don't mind it actually. I kind of like it because I'm not gonna lose this. The one thing I don't think that I'm a huge fan of right off the get is the fact that it can get lots of fingerprints on it, but that's not exclusive to this, like hourglass. Look at my hourglass. Like some of the most expensive makeup I have looks like the absolute most disgusting trash that I own. These are the bronzer and blush duos and man, they are stunning. This one is the warm flush and golden goddess. Now I do remember seeing on Twitter, I think it was actually Sam that posted that a lot of these look very similar. I shall open them and let you know. That is extremely light of a bronzer. That would work for like the absolute fairest of fairest of fair. Let me look at the other colors that we have here. Oh, okay, this one's for deeper skin tones. That's really beautiful. Okay, I can see what Sam means. They do look very similar. Like some of these are, God, damn near. Here's another one for deeper skin tones. This is, they're beautiful, really beautiful. Um, but these all do have very similar look to them. I will say the one that draws me in the most from looking at it might be this one here, Stay Rosy and Yummy Toffee. This one kind of sends me, but this one is probably the one that 
that I would buy if I were gonna go to Sephora. You know, this is Warm Flush and Golden Goddess. So I'm going to just give it a go. I'm gonna start off with the Warm Flush Golden Goddess because if I need to go darker, I can, but I think going lighter would be difficult. So, oh, I love the way my eyes look. They look really pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna dip into that. Soft, powdery. Um, this is my It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe French Boutique Blush Brush number four. I love a good duo situation because the more product you can fit in one, the better for me. Like I love almost like an all in one face kit, especially nowadays, I find that to be so helpful. So anything like this is really nice versus having to like have a bronzer, a blush, a highlighter, a, you know what I mean? I like to have, I like a good duo like this. Now the only, issue you'll have with something like this if you don't is if you really like the color of the blush but you don't like the color of the bronzer it won't work for you once i got pregnant i started getting really like uh i think people call it melasma but it's like um sunspots almost on your face but you like weren't out in the sun and they never really went away so you can see but they're right here so they just look like freckles so like i'm honestly super cool with it but okay so this color to me is very warm um, I don't know if this is one. I mean, it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. No, it's not bad. I, I think that it, it kind of goes on sheer so you can layer it up pretty well. Let me throw a little on the bridge of my nose. I like to do that. My nose looks like absolute utter butt shit today. Like it looks like, like for some reason, my foundation does not want to stick to my nose. So it's like looking particularly disgusting. So hopefully, or it can save me. I don't know. I don't know if anything can save this. Okay, so bronzer wise, I'm gonna try a little bit. I'm gonna try a different brush and I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that darker shade just to kind of see what that looks like. This is the Yummy Toffee. And I'm gonna switch it over to this brush, which is my Eco Tools Precision Highlight. And just like kind of put it more in like the hollow areas. It's interesting, I feel like the color of them comes off warmer than they look in the pan. In the pan, it almost looks like more of like a like a yellowy style bronzer. It doesn't look like it's gonna be so warm, but then you get it on the skin and it definitely is. It's not bad, it's just like, I to keep that in mind, It you know what I mean? I feel like, look at the color of the bronzer on my face and does it look the same as in here? I don't know, maybe, maybe it does. Okay, so I'm gonna throw a little bit of the blush on and for this blush, I am going to use the warm flush from here. And this is the first palette that I tried. And I'm gonna take it on that same little brush. God, my skin looks like disgust. This is the pure four in one love your selfie foundation. And today it just does not wanna to stick to my nose. Do you see that? I, I like it. It's a bronzer and blush duo. It's not like, um, it's not like making my life change or anything, but they are really pretty. Like, I feel like the application is fine. I don't feel like it looks any patchier or anything like that than any other product that I would wear. It's fine. I feel like the colors definitely look a little different applied than they do in the pan, but it's not like leaps and bounds different. The blush applies pretty, not super sheer actually. I feel like it has quite a bit of pigment in it. So you may want to dip gently in that one, but off first impression, I feel like it's, Good, nothing blow my mind away. I did see some negative criticism about people hating that because they don't, they don't stack because there is that raised J. So that is something to keep in mind. And the packaging is huge. So for these, like you can see it next to my head and I got a pretty big old fucking pumpkin head. So the product itself is really pretty. Now it's, it maybe you might wanna go a shade lighter than you think. Like this one looks too light to be anybody's bronzer. That doesn't look like a bronzer. Oh, it almost looks like just like a face powder. I don't know. I can't imagine that bronzing anyone, but maybe if you have the most fair skin of all, that could that could work for you. But as far as bronzer and blush goes, like I feel like it looks fine. I feel like it looks a little overkill, if I'm being honest. I might have benefited from going a little bit lighter of a color. The blush at least has quite a bit of luminosity. Um, yeah, it's fine. I don't feel like it's like crazy, but is anything. The forehead looks a little patchy to me. You guys let me know what you see. The camera's a little deceiving sometimes. Sometimes it just doesn't quite uh, show things the way that they really are. But I feel like in person it looks fine, but it does like, my face looks a little overkill makeup wise to me right now. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in with Auric and I'm gonna use the Glow Lust. And this is really, really pretty. So this is a Radiant Luminizer. I'm gonna use the shade Morganite. This is what the packaging looks like here. And again, it's just stunning. It's got this gold drip coming down the side and then it says Auric 
here on the top and this is the cap, correct? Or am I? Yeah, okay. Cap is a little difficult to pull off. So that's one thing to keep in mind. I remember her saying the pump on this is like some very special pump. So you know what, be special and come out, thank you. So I'm gonna just take a little bit of this right now. And this is, from what I understand, kind of similar to like the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Hollywood Flawless Filter for a Superstar Youth Glow. Um, it's like a glowy, you can use it as like a base, you can mix it in with your foundation or you can wear it on top as a highlighter. And that is the route that I'm gonna go with today. This is the shade Morganite. Okay, okay, okay I need to blend this out like ASAP. Damn it. Okay, let's see how this bitch blends. Oh. Okay. So that looked like I really caked on way too much, but it blends out really, really nicely. So this is gonna give you that very natural glow. This is that, I mean, it's perfect for Sam because she loves a cream product and she loves a product that looks natural, like skin, blends directly right in. I feel like I could have even gone one like darker than this shade. This is really pretty though. Beautiful. And you guys know I love, 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 love the Hollywood Flawless Filter. This to me feels like another product that is like a really fast application, but it gives, it packs a punch because look at that glow that it gives. It's a wet glow. It's very natural. Um, like I said, I feel like I could have gone one shade darker and I do have one. So I'm going to try that and see. This is Selenite. The one I used was Morganite and that would be for the most fair skin because you can see it has like a, a bit of a like white tint to it on that one. And this one is a little bit more. Yeah, I feel like this is more my color for sure. Okay, so you can see this is the first one and this is the second one. And I feel like I would definitely do a little better with that. Let me try a little on this side. Yes, okay, this is, this is my shade. When I wear highlighter, I'm not like everybody, but I like to take it down here on the apples of my cheeks because I like to make it look like I'm glowing everywhere. I don't wanna just look like it's just the high points in my cheeks, that's just who I am. I I know that it's not everyone's favorite to like have this part of your face look like that. Like you can see the difference already. This part is just here and some people prefer this side like 100%. I just think that it's really cute when you have like a glowy cheek. Not everybody's cup of tea, but it's my cup of tea and I like my tea the way I like my tea, bitch. Yes, this color is definitely more up my alley. These are, these are beautiful. The texture I would say is a little thicker than Charlotte Tilbury, but not an uncomfortable thick. It seems to blend on top of my foundation and the powder products beautifully. It just looks like the most wet, stunning. Like honestly, it's so beautiful. And I'm not just saying that because it's Sam. Like if I was trying this from any other brand, I would be giving this the same marks because it's just lovely. That you know I love the one from Charlotte Tilbury and this feels very similar to me. Oh, bitch, I am, I am happy with that. Staying a bit tacky so far doesn't feel like it's completely drying down, but it is not as wet. The Charlotte Tilbury one feels a little wetter. Ooh, you guys know I love to look wet and this is one of the wettest looking formulas. Oh, Sam, you made a beautiful product. That is so lovely, you guys look. It may be a little overkill. I did apply a lot. This is one of those like summer products where like you step outside and you just look like incredible and people are like, oh my God, what's on your face? And you're like, this is just my face. What are you talking about? And I feel like with this on top, it toned down the Jaclyn Cosmetics blush and bronzer duo and made it just like melt into the skin. This is one of those products that I feel like kind of melted everything in underneath it. And again, take my review with a grain of salt. She's my literal friend. So it's really hard here because like, it's just, nobody's gonna believe me no matter what I say, but you can just see what the product looks like. So if that's something that you feel like you like the look of, beautiful. And it comes in seven different shades. They're very flexible in that because they are a very sheer, sheared out like glowy highlighter form, they're not something that you need to have your exact shade because it's not a foundation, but it, it's just, oh my God, it's so beautiful. Zach said he is asleep, so keep filming. He fell asleep with dad? unprecedented. He does not sleep unless he's sucking on a boob. Wow, this is a great day. I'm literally obsessed and I'm so upset that I didn't try this until now because this could have this could be like an everyday moment for me. 
I am gonna message Sam right now and just tell her. Here's the shade card that it came with. So if you guys can see, here are the shades in the Glow Lust here. Um, I used these top two. So you can see that for more medium skin tones are these ones here, and then your deeper skin tones here, and then your lighter fair skin tones here. Okay, I am so proud of Sam. This is stunning. This packaging, it's super luxury. These are pricier because they are a luxury cosmetics, but you will feel that if you buy these. They don't feel cheap at all. Very weighty packaging. This is a frosted glass and then this beautiful custom packaging here. And apparently, I mean, this is a nice pump because it doesn't disperse too much product. You do have control over how much comes out. So I'm very, very impressed with these. The eye duos are 39 and the Radiant Luminizer Glow Lust is 45. It is pricier, but I mean, you have to just determine if you think that that is worth it for you. But for me, wanting quick finger application style products, hands down, like I am really, really, really obsessed. Like look how beautiful just this eye and face combo is. Okay, and then I got this lip product from Linda Hallberg. These are all, did I use all influencer brands today? I think I did because um, Linda Hallberg is a, I don't know if she does YouTube, but she does Instagram. She's so stunning. Her makeup is so beautiful. And she has her own cosmetics as well. And this is a product called Latex Fever Liquid Lipstick and it's dusky pink latex. And it just looks like a really pretty soft pink color. Oh, oof. Okay, so I wonder, are these gonna dry down, Matt? It said liquid lipstick. I don't like, you guys will know this about me. I just don't really like a, a defined edge at all. I think it's a gloss actually. They feel like it's definitely not gonna dry down, I don't think. Yeah, it's a gloss. Comfortable though, not like sticky at all. I mean, it has like a, like your hair would definitely get stuck in this if there was a breeze. Is that like the, the marker now for makeup? Would hair get stuck? With a breeze, yes. That color's really pretty. It, I feel like I could go a little lighter with it. I might like it a little bit lighter, but you know. All right, and that wasn't a ton of different products, but this is the finished makeup. This is as much as I feel like comfortable doing right now, if I'm being honest with you. But I really, really like it. I definitely have more makeup that I wanna try coming up here soon, but I'm gonna go with a rundown on everything that I tried. The eye duos. If you like cream product, I think that you'll like it. If you don't like cream eye product, you you won't. But it's all in personal preference. So for me, I don't usually dip into creams in eye product land that often. I always like usually a matte shadow and then I like to like use some sparkle to like top over the, the, the end so that it gets like that really sparkly, you know, finish. Lately, I have been dipping into more cream products and I've been using like my Fenty cream bronzers again um, and things like that because they're just faster. I find that when I am doing a quick, quick, quick face of makeup, the faster I can make it go, the better. And for me, a product like that, like I said, I don't know that I would use the sparkly part every single day, but if you need the sparkliest eyeshadow ever, I mean, look no further. For a more natural day, I could definitely see myself reaching in and just smearing that over, just tapping it on my lids and being done with just like a quick coat of mascara. And it's like the quickest eye ever, but it does pack a punch. Really, really pretty. I like the colors that she came out with. I feel like those are the best three starting colors that you can do with a line like this. Beautiful. I love the packaging. I feel like it feels very luxury. The price tag is high on those, but again, it is a luxury brand. It does not feel cheap whatsoever. So if you are wondering like, is it worth it? You have to determine that for yourself and what you think that you might like as a consumer. But if you love cream products or you love the colors or you love the way they look, the formula of them both is really nice. I feel like the cream dried down really, really well, not too fast. So I felt like I couldn't blend it, but fast enough that it wasn't like making my eye shadow sticky or creasy or anything like that. I just think they're beautiful. I think they're really, really beautiful. For the uh, Jaclyn Cosmetics Duos, I like them. They're pretty good. Like I feel like it did the job and that's all I can ask for out of makeup. They're very big and very bulky. So if you don't like that, you might not. They're very weighted though. They feel nice and sturdy. They feel luxury to me as well. They feel like hourglass-ish. I do feel like there's a lot of packaging for what the product is on the inside, but they do feel beautiful because they are that pillowy product in that same like hourglass fashion. Same with the highlighters. I just feel like the packaging is very luxurious. It feels like nice makeup. It feels high quality. Quality. You just have to determine whether or not you want to support Jacqueline and try these out. I don't even know if they're available anymore. I feel like I do agree with what I have seen around and that it feels like there could have been a better variety of shades in these that didn't all look so similar. They just kind of have like that similar like bronzy with a peachy blush, bronzy with a pinky blush. I feel like um, there's 
It's just not as uh, varied maybe as one might hope. I feel like they totally work for my skin tone. I would totally use them again. Let me look at the price of them real quick to see if I feel like they're worth that price. They are available at Ulta Beauty and they are $36. Um, that's actually not bad at all for how nice this packaging is. I mean, makeup has just gotten to the point where I feel like I'm out of touch with what a normal price makeup is. Even though drugstore prices have increased so much so that I feel like $36 is like fucking what you would pay for something from Wet n Wild these days. I know that's that's not true, but I'm just saying. $36 is actually less than I probably thought these would have been. So they feel nice for that price. The Glow Lust. I feel like my thoughts on Glow Lust are pretty well known. And you know what? It's dried down quite a bit in that it doesn't at all feel super tacky. It's not sticking to my cheeks. It doesn't feel like it's sticking in that way at all. I feel like it actually dries down more than the Charlotte Tilbury one. And I don't know if that's true or not, or maybe I'm just not remembering correctly, but I don't feel like the Charlotte Tilbury one dries down this much. And so it was one that I would wear, but I was hesitant to wear if I really wanted my face to stay looking good. But I feel like this is totally dried down enough to where it's not super tacky at all. It's very comfortable and I would totally feel comfortable wearing this on the day to day. Because Sam and I are friends, I feel like people are gonna take my review with like the biggest grain of salt and that's totally fine. But these are very beautiful. The Glow Lust, at least for me, this is exactly up my alley. So if you like products that I've recommended before, you might really, really like this. It's seriously beautiful and just, I, it, it's more glowy than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was gonna be a lot more subtle than this and it probably could be if you mix it in with your foundation or if you just did like such a light hand uh, application of it, but it is beautiful. It looks very wet. It also made my skin look really um, soft focus. I feel like it did blur a little bit on the skin. It's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful product. And then this Linda Hallberg lip product. It is a pigmented gloss. It's not super sticky. I feel like the color is really pretty. Again, this color is latex fever in dusky pink latex. And it's very, very pretty. I feel like it's a nice color. Um, I've wanted to try Linda Hallberg. I have a ton of her makeup and I would love to try more of it, but I just haven't had the opportunity lately. So I, I, I might do a full face of it. I'm not sure that she has a full face, maybe not foundation or anything like that, but um, there's lots of different products, lots of eye products. She does the most beautiful editorial style looks like, oh my God, she's just stunning. Um, and the makeup is really pretty too. So I think that the lip product is pretty. Is it like anything that's blowing me out of the park? Lip products never are. Uh, I'm more of a clear lip gloss ass bitch if there ever was one or a chapstick lady. I am somebody that just, I don't care about lip products. They're really just like the lowest on my priority list of things that I care about because I have tiny little crescents and I don't really like to accentuate them. Um, but I don't really care, TBH. Uh, lip products are something that people really release a lot of and I have a shit ton of and I tend to wear the same nude all the time. I'm a fucking mochalicious lady. It's like a pig nice pigmented gloss, not super uncomfortable by any stretch of the imagination and only a little bit got on my teeth. So I feel like everything I tried today was just pretty good. Like I feel like, you know that's the thing about makeup nowadays. Somebody asked me the other day, I can't remember who it was. It was my friend Marie. Marie was asking me about, oh, what's a good this? What's a good this? And I, I looked at her and I said, you know what? Makeup's kind of all good now. Like I feel like gone are the days where products were total, utter, trash where you would look at it and be like oh this pro like you'll get a dud every now and again where you'd be like how did this make it to market but nowadays i feel like manufacturers just kind of are doing a good job like they just formulas are kind of nailed down it's a rare day that you get a product that's just so bad that you can't believe it but i have definitely had some like i've had that covergirl clean skin milk or whatever like okay we first of all we need to keep remembering that they named their product skin milk but so i hated it white balls all over my face so there definitely are duds out there, but I feel like in general makeup these days has just gotten so good that it's really kind of a preference thing. Like reviewing makeup has gotten to the point where it's like, do you like the look of it? Then you'll probably like it. <laughs> like it's kind of hard to review because things are just kind of across the board, pretty decent. I hope you guys like this video. I hope it was kind of fun to watch makeup. I can't even believe that I did it and that my baby slept and that I was able to sit down and film today. It makes me realize that it's not as hard because I have my wonderful, incredible, perfect, amazing husband who's down there being wonderful. Okay, so I'm gonna go give him a kiss and I'm gonna go. And I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, you don't have to if you don't want to. Not every video is gonna be a makeup video. 
I'm gonna be definitely doing some, you know, more mom content. If you guys have anything that you are interested in, I think I wanna do a video where it's like my must have items for baby. Things definitely change day to day though. Like the things I used a ton in the beginning, I don't use at all now. So it was like kind of a waste of money. Parenting stuff is super fucking expensive. All right, and I thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you at my next one. Bye. I did it, I filmed the video. <laughs> Get much time to go on YouTube. Am I orange? I didn't miss that. I didn't. And try on the other side. Am I orange? I think so, but I don't have time to be concerned about being orange these days. My light is like buzzing as if it's going to explode. Do you hear that? I think that light bulb's gonna explode. The light is like crackling. With technology, you just gotta smack it and just hope that it stops. On the every day, I most like, hello? Literally, what are you, get to the side you belong on, you little bitch. I mean, it's is it like anything crazy? I mean, it's a bron blon bronzer and blush. And you know that I love the good. And I feel like with this on top, it really toned down the Jaclyn brush. Brush and bronzer. I keep saying brush and bronzer. Not every makeup, not every makeup is going to be a video. And not every video is going to be a makeup.